today we'll be dealing with real time data that is iot data using stream analytics job so this is the architecture diagram we'll deploy this architecture diagram straight from the scratch we have the iot file on my local computer that is sample.json which we'll get back in a while so first let's create stream analytics job i'm already logged into the azure portal let's search stream analytics by searching here we'll get stream analytics job let's click here next we need to click on create next uh, we need to fill out the some basic details like resource group subscription where uh, the stream analytics jobs will reside let's name it cloud guru amit analytics job then we have the hosting environment cloud storage for us cloud looks good then we can also mention the stream units we can increase it or we can decrease it even so for our workload stream unit uh, one is fine so the price there is a pricing tier definitely the more we increase the streaming units the more will be the price so let's go ahead and click on review and create we'll keep this simple as possible to create one stream analytics job next uh, after the validation is passed let's click on create it will initialize the deployment let's wait for a while till our still till our stream analytics job gets uh, ready so we have like let's uh, wait for uh, the deployment in process all right our deployment is now completed we can go to the uh, resource here now uh, next we will begin uh, with the ingestion uh, part so let's click on overview here we have the properties tab here under query we can see edit query uh, for the inputs currently you can see there are no inputs we need to um, specify the input or because uh, we need to ingest uh, one uh, data right without data we cannot uh, query anything and produce the output right so we will ingest sample.json file which is on my local computer here sample.json it's already there so let's uh, ingest this file on the cloud now let's click on uh, query editor so on the uh, query editor if we uh, look at the input section it looks something like this so next there are a couple of options if you look like we can select an uh, input from sql database or uh, th these are some of the stream inputs as well blob storage gen 2 right for our case we will uh, simply just uh, upload uh, the uh, sample input so let's uh, paste the uh, query I have already done uh, the homework for you so first a query is about aggregating uh, the data by uh, five minutes if you look at the tumbling window or, or if you've worked uh, gone through my dp203 then you might be already aware of this terms tumbling window and all let's go back to the query let's paste this and if uh, as soon as i paste it you can see the upload sample input this uh, is available now so let's click on uh, the upload sample input now let's select uh, the local file present on our computer that is the iot data or internet of things data from our local computer now all right now let's select uh, our input file that is sample.json let's click on open then ok so as soon as we click on ok uh, it already displays uh, the data let's uh, test our uh, query now it uh, says uh, testing the uh, query if we look at the architecture diagram uh, let us relate this thing i have ingested this sample.json now we are running the query and the output uh, is generated currently right so let's uh, go back so yeah our output is uh, generated now we got the output from different sensors you can see sensor b e and and there are like uh, num readings uh, as well so this shows that our sensors are working fine and there is a timestamp as well so since we are dealing with real time data this uh, is one of the example now we have uh, one more query related to it now let's say we want to aggregate the data not by 15 minutes but we want to aggregate this time on hourly basis so if you check here the only difference here is the this one tumbling window r then one so the parameter goes something like this if you want to configure by minutes we should write minute if you want to configure by 10 minutes write it 10 15 as per the requirement or if you want to configure via uh, the hourly basis then we can write r uh, 1 2 3 depending upon uh, the requirement let's copy this uh, let's um, like delete it let's save this query as soon as we uh, save then uh, we can uh, like uh, trigger or uh, test the query as well so let's uh, trigger this on uh, hourly basis now this is uh, testing query so yeah uh, we got our output 
so this time it shows 10 rows previously it was around 35 so we got our result let's go back to the architecture diagram to dive you the first so we have used azure portal to create stream analytics job after uh, the job we have ingested our sample.json file which was present in our local computer then ran the query against it and got our output for the real time iot uh, data all right so i hope you found this tutorial helpful thank you so much for watching this video